And staying with us, family and friends of the suspect tell us they don't believe the weapon he was holding was real. Michelle Edmay has the interview you're seeing first on 2. I'm here at the Fairfield Point Apartments, and behind me here is the home of the suspect, 22-year-old John Crawford II. Now, family here spoke with me first and are devastated at the loss of a young man they say was a good guy. Now, I spoke with the mother of Crawford's two sons, a four-month-old and a one-year-old. Lacey Johnson says she was actually on the phone with Crawford when the shooting unfolded. She says she still can't believe the Beaver Creek Police Department shot him after he screamed out to them. They came in with, with their rifle and, and they just shot him. They didn't give him a chance. If they would just listen to him and, and see, he would have told them it wasn't real because that's what he yelled out. Johnson says for about an hour she stayed on the phone and heard as officers assessed his wounds and she says even tried to turn him over. She told me that her family believes this is a racial discrimination case. And I also spoke with a cousin who says he wants answers and justice. I did ask the mother of Crawford's two sons if she knew what he was doing at the Walmart. She says Crawford told her that he was playing with video games and as well the toy gun. Tonight she and others say they're remembering the young man that Crawford was was to them. He was a family man. And he was a good provider, at least he tried to be there for his his children. And he was just an all around good person and he didn't deserve this to happen to him. Family here say they will continue to pursue justice. In fact, they plan on hiring a lawyer to look into this case. But for now, they are continuing to mourn and they ask for privacy during this tragic time. Reporting live in Fairfield, Beershell Edmay, 2 News, working for you.